Why doesn't a transformer short circuit when it's energized? Think about it. An energized source comes in here, then flows through the primary coil, and connects to something with a different potential. This is the same situation that causes a short circuit. The answer can be explained by Lenz's law. It states that an induced voltage or current opposes the force that causes it. All this means is that when you apply a voltage to a conductor, an induced voltage is created, but it has a force in the opposite direction as the applied voltage. This is often referred to as counter-electromotive force. Watch what happens when I drop the steel ball down this copper tube. Notice how it drops very quickly. Let's do the same thing, but using this magnet. The magnet drops much slower because copper is a conductor, so it induces a voltage or force opposite the magnet. This is the same thing that's happening inside a transformer. So imagine this is electricity, and this is the primary coil. As electricity moves through the coil, the opposing force slows down the current. So the way a transformer works is they apply voltage to one coil, which then induces voltage onto another coil. The steel core inside the transformer increases the electromagnetic field, which makes the opposing force even stronger. Without the steel core, the opposing force isn't strong enough to prevent a short circuit. Let's test this idea out. I removed the steel core from this transformer and then connected it to this circuit. Let's energize it and see what happens. The fuse melted because the applied voltage had a force stronger than the induced voltage, causing a short circuit. Now let's try it with the core back in the transformer. The fuse doesn't melt because the induced voltage has a force strong enough to prevent the short circuit. This phenomenon allows millions of homes around the world to be powered by transformers without short circuiting.